everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel welcome if you are new don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video so for today's video i'm going to be doing my nails using items from timu specifically polygel related items so these items in front of me here these items i have received from different timu haul videos we have some polygel nail forms and also like the little silicone mold so you can do some french tips i got these and i've been wanting to try these out so badly i've actually used like the little silicone nail forms before like to um, be able to get like that perfect French smile line without like doing it yourself. So I've used those before. Um, they were um, a different brand. I didn't use these ones and I didn't really like them too much. It was kind of more like sticky and gummy and it wasn't really silicone. These ones, I remember when I unboxed these in my Timu haul video, I did take a quick look at them and it did look to be like a whole silicone piece and it looked to be a lot easier to be able to reuse and honestly just use for different um, nail tips and making it a little bit easier. So I am really excited to use these today and this is basically the whole reason why I'm doing this video is because I really want to try these polygel nail forms but we also do have some other items from Timu. Of course we're going to need our polygel so I do have this big tube of polygel here in a light pink. This I will be using as my like nail bed color and then I also have this other tube of polygel which is a shimmer sky blue so a glitter polygel. And then we have a poly gel brush here. This is actually, I'm pretty sure, a Kalinsky brush. And it is a little bit larger than I'm used to. So I'm not really sure if I'm going to like this or not. But I do want to give this a try. And then I also have this flower fairy gel because I think I'm going to add this to the nail before I apply the blue glitter poly gel. Just so I can also have some very pretty dried flowers in the nails. I've used this product before and I really like this product because it's like a gel but it has like dried flowers in it. So I'm really excited to incorporate that. I may possibly be using this. I haven't completely decided yet but I am definitely going to be using these products from Timu and these poly gels. I know that these poly gels are very affordable along with everything else on Timu, but yes, I am most excited to try these poly gel nail forms. So one thing I do quickly want to say is all of these items that I will be using and of course showing in today's video, I will be trying my best to leave them linked down below in the description box. It can become a little difficult for me though, refinding these items on Timu. Timu is filled with so many items available, so it does get a little bit hard, but I will be trying my best to be able to find these items and link them down below for you guys. Another thing, if something isn't linked down there, um, I may not have been able to find it. Another reason is it could have been discontinued and a new product could have taken its place. So I will be trying my best to link all of these items down below in the description box. I do quickly now want to take a look at these. I did quickly or briefly show these in the Timu haul video um, where I showed these polygel nail forms, but I do just quickly want to take a look at them. So I do have two boxes of them. Both boxes are different, but both boxes do contain 280 pieces. And in here, kind of on the front, it does show we have um, four different full cover nail tips in this box and then four different silicone molds. For this box, we have a little bit more of a variety here. We have some full cover, there's also some half cover, and then there's also four different silicone molds, but one of them is actually like for the actual French tip part. These ones here are for more like the smile line and the nail bed area of the nail. So I'm not going to be using both of these in today's video. I think this one I may come back and use it because this shape, I've never tried this shape before and I really would love to try that nail shape. But for today, because I'm a little bit nervous to try out these silicone molds, I'm thinking about just using this like short medium square here just because I feel like it will be a little bit easier because it's going to be a smaller nail tip and because I'm not really sure how this nail set is going to turn out. Either way, I'm going to be posting this video just like I did with my last one when I tried these silicone molds. I didn't really like the result of how the nails turned out, but I still posted the video just because I kind of wanted to show you guys. Um, 
I was trying something out. It didn't really turn out super well, but I still wanted to post the video because not everything turns out absolutely perfectly. But let me go ahead and open this box up. So in here, because this one I will be using today, let me know if you guys do want me to try this weird nail shape. I can't think of the name. I remember talking about it in that haul video and um, a few people mentioned what this nail shape was, but it's like really pinched and I really like this. I've never used a nail shape like this. It kind of like comes down on the sides. Um, let me know if you guys want me to play around with this box and try out those ones. That would be super fun. But coming back to this box here, we can see that there are eight different um, little dual forms. And some of the dual forms in this box are half cover instead of full cover. And then these ones here are the ones that I am going to be using today. They are just more of like a medium short square nail shape. And I think these are going to be really nice and um, look nice number one and number two will make it a little bit easier on me because I'm like I said a little bit scared to use these silicone molds but for the silicone molds at the bottom here these ones are for like the half well um not necessarily I don't think these are for half cover I'm not really sure though to be honest I've never seen anyone use these specific ones but these ones are more for the actual French tip part of the nail and then these three here these ones are for like the smile line of the nail and I feel like it's a little hard for me to show these but I'm going to be trying them out and we'll check them out together and see how well these work one thing I do want to say though is the ones that I used in the video that I'm talking about I will actually have that video linked up in the cards in case you guys want to check it out but those silicone molds I felt like they were very sticky and gummy and in the description for those silicone molds before I bought them I read that they are or were reusable but I was having a really hard time reusing them these ones here I feel like this whole piece is silicone and I feel like these are going to be a lot easier to use so off camera, I did go in and size out the dual forms. Like I said, I'm just using these full cover square ones. And now on camera, I have decided that I'm going to size out these little silicone molds and fit them into the nail. Now, I don't really know the correct way to do this because the dual forms, of course, they do have a number and then these also have a number on them, but I don't really know if this number corresponds with the number of the dual form. I don't really think so to be honest because let's see, this one looks to be a number nine and this is a number 10, but this looks so much bigger and this is a nine and this is a 10. So I don't know, let me see, let me try to find a 10 here and see if the numbers are supposed to go with the number of the dual form. Okay, so I found a number 10 and actually this may fit. I don't know, maybe a number 11 would be better because the number 11 is smaller. Let me try to fit it in there and see. I do want the French tip to go almost like to this line here. So I think the fourth line. Yeah, I want that French tip to go to that fourth line. So let me try to fit this in here. This is a little difficult, especially because this is the smallest nail. Oh my goodness, I can't get it to fit in there. And this is the number 11. I wonder if there's a smaller one. This process is always the hardest, trying to get this into the dual form. Oh, I thought I almost had it. Oh my goodness, stay. Uh, oh, oh no, it's not sticking for some reason. Am I doing it on the wrong side maybe? Oh, maybe I was. Okay, so I got it to stick in there. I feel like it isn't perfect, but I mean, this is very, oh no, it fell out. What is going on? So it is definitely not perfect in there, but it is in there. I may have to adjust it when it comes time to actually put in the poly gel, but I'm just gonna set this one aside for now. That one is the pinky and it may end up being the hardest one to do. But I'm now gonna move on to the next nail and this is a seven. But honestly, I think this number 10 here may fit really nicely in here. I don't know, let me see if I can find a number seven, we'll see. So this did rip here, but this one was a number seven. 
that actually does fit really good in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the number seven. So maybe the numbers on these do correspond with the dual forms because that actually fits very nicely. The next nail is a number five. So I'm gonna look for a number five in these. Okay, so I went off camera and I did pick out all of the sizes that correspond with the sizes of the dual forms. This was very hard because it's really hard to see the numbers on these, but I'm hoping this all works out. I did also put them on this palette here because while I was sizing them out, I did notice they were popping up from the dual forms. So I think I'm going to have to work one by one and I'm hoping that these work fine because before I started this video, I actually tried placing one of these into one of the longer dual forms and it stuck just fine. So I don't know if it's maybe just because these are shorter or what, but we're still gonna proceed and I'm still gonna try these and see how everything works out. So I am going to start with the hardest nail first. The reason I say this is the hardest is just because it's the smallest and I think I'm going to struggle the most with this nail. So keep in mind, I do have my dual form sized out to fit my nails and then I also have these little silicone molds sized out corresponding with the sizes of the dual forms. So this dual form is a size 10 and I do have a size 10 um, silicone mold here and I will just be working one by one because I think, again, that's gonna be the easiest thing to do. So I have decided, yes, I am going to use this flower fairy gel. So I'm going to just set that off to the side here. And then we will, of course, be starting with the um, like French tip color. So I will be using this summer sky blue poly gel. And then I do have this poly gel brush here. And then for my slip solution, I just have some rubbing alcohol. So I'm going to start with this nail. I'm going to try to talk through the process, but this may be a little bit difficult for me. I am going to start by placing in that silicone mold and I'm gonna try my best to get it straight and perfect. But honestly, this is quite hard to do. So I'm just going to get it as best as I can, try to press it down, get it stuck into that nail. Okay, that's pretty good. Now I'm going to first start off and just take some of this flower gel and paint that into the nail. I just wanna get a few of the flowers in there just to add a little bit more to this nail design. I'm now going to flash cure this. Okay, so I have that, flat, or that fairy gel flash cured and now I'm going to take the poly gel and I'm going to just squeeze a little bit of that poly gel into the dual form there. And then I'm going to use my brush and my slip solution to mold this poly gel. Oh, this poly gel is so pretty. I love that color so much. I think this is going to look really nice. I just think my smile lines may not look perfect. And honestly, it may look better if I tried doing it just like the smile lines by myself. But I feel like that might be... A little bit harder. I don't know. I guess we'll see in the end how this nail set turns out. This poly gel though is very pretty. I'm loving the color of it. And one thing that I'm going to try to do is keep the poly gel off of the form. That may be a little bit hard, but I am going to try my best to do that. And I'm just going to mold the poly gel. Like I said, this is probably going to be the hardest nail just because it's the smallest nail. It's kind of hard to see what I'm doing. It's hard to see where the like form is. But if these smile lines aren't perfect, I will always be able to kind of disguise them with some charms or rhinestones. After I have that poly gel molded the best I can, I am going to cure this. And here is the nail after I have cured. I think I'm gonna wait and, no, I'll go ahead and just peel this up now to see how it looks. And let me pop this off just because the blue sticky tack kind of blends in. Oh my goodness, I hope this looks good. Oh, that's not bad. For this being my first one, I'm actually pretty proud of that. Now it doesn't look 100%. The smile line isn't perfect, but it does look really, really good. And I am super proud of that. The dried flowers are a little hard to see, 
but I think because this nail being short, the other nails, we may be able to see it a little bit better. I don't know, but I do really like that and I'm gonna keep this nail and we're just gonna continue working through with this process. So now this French tip poly gel, I want you guys to keep in mind, this is now cured. So I'm just going to pop that back on the nail stand and then I'm going to repeat this process with the rest of the nails. And I also think I'm just gonna let this play out. If I do feel like I need to say anything, I will hop back on and say it. But I feel like this process, I'm not the best at it. So I feel like just kind of watching me go with the process and kind of go with the flow here, maybe a little bit easier than me just like kind of yapping on about what I'm doing over and over again. So I will always start with that flower gel. I'll do a flash cure of this gel. Just trying to really just get a couple of those dried flowers into the nail is my main focus here. And then I will flash cure this and then I will go in with that poly gel and honestly just hope for the best.
Now that I have all of the poly gel molded, I am going to remove the silicone forms and again, just hope for the best here. And I did just put all of these silicone molds back on this palette here and I will just wipe them off and these are definitely reusable. And here are how the nails are looking. It is a little bit hard to see with that blue sticky tag, but honestly, they are looking pretty good. I feel like this one, I had it down a little too low, but I'm not going to worry about it because like I said, this is, it's kind of a hack, but also something where you really have to practice at it and the placement of those silicone forms once you have it placed and pressed in I feel like they do stay in place but getting it into the absolute perfect spot it is a little bit tricky to do so now the poly gel is all cured in these nail tips and I'm going to go in with this poly gel. This is a light pink and this is what I'm going to be using as the nail bed color for all of the nails. So I'm going to just squeeze this in, mold it out on all of them. I'm not gonna do any curing and then after I have this poly gel molded to all of the nails, then I will come back and we will be applying them to my natural nails. Something else I do quickly want to say is I'm really loving this big brush. It may not have been the best brush to use for like the, um, like with the silicone molds and trying to get that perfect just because it is a little bit larger, but I do really like it because I feel like I can work faster and it makes molding the poly gel a lot easier in my opinion. So now that all of the poly gel is molded, I am ready to apply these nails. So this is the part where we're really gonna see how bad these smile lines are. But I'm just going to pop the nail tip off of the dual form and then place it down onto my natural nail. And I do always like to do a quick little flash cure just before applying the next nail, just to be sure that it doesn't move around on me. So before doing that, I'm just gonna go in, make sure I clean up any poly gel on my skin and on the underside if necessary. And then I will do a flash cure and then I'll just repeat the process to apply all of the other nails. Once I do have all of the nails applied, I will do a full 60 second cure in the nail lamp with my palm facing down and then another 60 second cure with my palm facing up.
So now that I have all of the nails applied and fully cured, I am going to pop off the dual forms and honestly, they do not look bad. I just hope they look this good when I pop off the dual forms. They do look really good. There are a few little gaps, so the next time I do this, I will keep that in mind. Um, there are just like a few little gaps here and there, like where the poly gels meet. Maybe, um, I think I'll just go in with a layer of builder gel and that will really help that just to connect everything and close in those gaps. You will probably still be able to see those gaps in the end result, but I'm thinking about adding like some rhinestones or a little charm to help disguise that. But overall, these look really, really good. They do need some filing. So I am gonna go in with a lint-free wipe just to wipe off the sticky layer. And for my filing, I'm gonna take a hand file to go in and crisp up the nail shape. I'm also going to take my e-file with my 5-in-1 drill bit to seal around the cuticle. I'm now going to take a dust brush to remove all of the nail dust. Now that I am all finished with filing, these nails are looking so good and I am very happy with the result. I'm now going to go in with a layer of this 5-in-1 Builder Gel. This is also from Timu and I'm just going to apply this just to add a little strength between the like first color I applied and the second color, I just want to combine those and add a little bit more strength so the tip of the nail just doesn't pop off. So I'm going to go in with a layer of this and then cure this for 30 seconds. After that builder gel is all cured, I'm now going to go in with a layer of top coat and cure that for 30 seconds as well.
Now that I have the boater gel and the top coat cured, I am going to add on a little flower charm. I have these ones here, and I'm just going to add these to the smile line of each of the nails just to kind of help disguise any imperfections. And I will be using this diamond glue gel. I also, after I added the flowers and cured those, I also went in with a little bead just to go in the center of the flowers and then I did do a full cure. That is everything that I want to do with this nail set. I absolutely love how it turned out. I'm now going to go in with my cuticle oil. I'm going to apply that to my cuticles, rub that in to nourish them, and of course, like I always say, top off the nail set. And here is the finished look of the nails. I absolutely love how these turned out, and I'm really surprised with how good they turned out. Even though there were a few imperfections, I think these turned out really good, and even just adding that little charm to the smile line it really just helped elevate the nail set now of course it kind of um, like hides the smile line a little bit but you can still see that it is a french tip nail and i really love these so much i also really loved the dual form the shape of these nails were really nice the length of them were also very nice and also the silicone molds and not only that but the poly gel i also really liked the poly gel consistency i like a stiffer poly gel and this one was stiff but not too stiff which i absolutely loved i wasn't constantly needing to dip my brush which I really like that so this kind of just goes to show that you can still do your nails at home even if you are on a tight budget and you can have salon quality looking nails without spending the salon quality price tag so again, I will be trying my best to leave the links to all of these products down below in the description box in case you guys do want to pick anything up for yourselves. But here is the finished look of these nails. I absolutely love the color. I also really love how I incorporated that dried flower gel. I think that really just elevates the nail set. I will definitely be trying these silicone molds again. Let me know if you guys want me to try that very weird nail shape. I know some of you in my last video told me the name of it, but I cannot remember, but it had like a really tight pinch to it. I would really love to try that just because I've never tried anything like that before. But I hope that you guys did enjoy today's video. Don't forget to check the description box for any links and also the products that I used. I really hope that you guys did enjoy. But as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all next time. Mm -hmm.